what, what the maid is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Family members and activists are demanding answers after a mother says Toronto Canadian police pushed her 26-year-old daughter from their home balcony 24 stories to her death. Okay, the police side of the story first. They say that they were called to the apartment for a domestic disturbance. And they got there, they observed a woman on the balcony and then the woman fell. At first, there was reports that they were saying she had committed suicide. Now, the mother's side of the story. The mother said they pushed her. Simple as that. She was there. She said they pushed her. Now, Straight up, I'm inclined to believe the mother because I know how the police operate. How do somebody just fall from a balcony? How do you just fall from a balcony? No, nah, I believe the mother. I believe she was pushed. And I believe the other witnesses and other people that were there on the scene. They ignored. The police pushed her. I hope like hell that they find some video on this. And I'm sure if they check those cops' cameras, if they got them on, if they had them on, I'm sure they're going to find what they're looking for. I would, I'm willing to bet money that they pushed that woman. I believe the mother. People need to understand that Canada is not this racial haven that they think it is like people think that Canada is like a, a, a some type of great alternative to America if you want to escape racism. Oh, it's not. It's not. I see reports of racism going on in Canada all the time. Black people that live in Canada got to feel like ghosts sometimes because they're not as active on social media like we are in America. Like the U.S., like we, we let them know. We put them on blast. To me, Canada is like a small town version of a country. You know, they tend to do a lot of things that the outside world don't really hear about. Regis Paquet, that's her name. She is the young lady who... I believe was pushed from the balcony by the police. That's cold, man. Think about how evil you got to be. I'm telling you, bro. We, and it's the same thing. White cops work in black neighborhoods. Why? If they hate us so much, why are they in our neighborhoods? If they hate us so much, why are they around us? If they fear us so much, why do they bring their happy asses around us so much? Why do they want to be around us? Why do they want to work around us? It's a choice. They have a choice to become a police officer and work around black people. They hate black people so much. You know, I know they hate them or hate us. <laughs> I'm saying them like I'm not one. But you know how I know they hate us? You find out all the time, every time you find one of them that kills somebody black that's unarmed or they commit some type of particular egregious, egregious crime, they start looking into their background. They got all kinds of racial violations. You find out that they've posted something racist on Facebook. Find out that they're in a hate group. They got clan affiliation. 
They got Confederate flags and they neo-Nazi tats and stuff. All kinds of stuff. It's a culture. They all fit a certain MO. They all got a certain, they got that certain thing about them. You know? It's like it's a fraternity. Yeah. I sure do hope like hell that some video surface. If those cameras was on, were on, it's there. The evidence is there. You know how, another reason why I know that they did it? The SIU, which uh, stands for the, uh, what is it? Uh, Special Investigation Unit, if I'm not mistaken, in Canada. When questioned about the circumstances of her fall or so-called fall, they had no comment. Now, you know damn well, if they thought for a moment that that woman fell on her own, they would he go, he go to camp, he go. They would release the video just like that. They always release the video real quick when they know it's a slam dunk. When they know they have a slam dunk, you know, in the innocence department. When they know they got a good shot. They always release the video footage real fast. Where's the video footage right now? There is none. And if there is some and they do release it, it's probably doctored. Don't say I didn't warn you. No more talk. What the talking about?